Hi there, I'm William Mack, coming from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Recently, we stumbled upon some online conversations regarding the different construction type of inductors. This was really interesting because I never really thought about which inductor shielding performs better, a molded inductor or an assembled inductor. Let's take a deeper look at the inductor itself. It's the biggest component in most power designs, and picking the right inductor can help you improve efficiency and shrink your design. Obviously, improving efficiency means reducing losses, and a big part of that is lowering DCR. Shrinking a design can be a bit more complex though, especially when you consider that a smaller design often means you have data and signal lines nearby. In that case, you'll need something a bit more than this, a shielded inductor. This is where it helps to know how inductors are actually made. A standard assembled wire-wound inductor starts with a conductor wrapped around a ferrite core. Ferrite has a higher permeability than air, and since inductance is proportional to permeability, this increases the inductance value. This is then placed on a base, the conductor is welded to the terminals, and a ring is installed to cover the conductor. You can also place a cap on these for more shielding, but it's not the most effective approach as we will show later. On the other hand, a molded inductor like our METCOM MPX series is made by coiling the conductor, welding it to the terminals, and then forming the core around the coil using a powder molding process. It's a more complicated process. So there must be some benefit, right? This process lets us use proprietary metal composite powders that offer high permeability and inherently shield the inductor much better than a standard shielded assembled inductor. The shielding reduces EMI, so you can place the inductors next to sensitive circuits or use them in high density power designs. The high permeability gives you more inductance in a smaller footprint, or it gives you less DCR for the same inductance in the same footprint. The metal composite powder also makes the inductor very stable over temperature and frequency. As you can see, in designs where EMI noise is a problem, your best option is a molded inductor. For more information on metal composite inductors, visit our newly redesigned Engineering Center website and search the keyword METCOM. You can also join our conversations by following us on our social media platforms. Coming to you from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I'm William Mack, and remember to stay curious.